Your life is a business and Every business needs a foundation. Before opening your doors to your donut shop, you need a startup capital. How does one figure out and acquire the startup capital needed to start such a venture? In this video, I will go over building your startup capital and learning how to create your financial foundation. Do you have what it takes to make the right left to you? If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for videos to educate, entertain, and enlighten. To determine your financial foundation, you must first know whether your average monthly overhead. Once you have that total, then you take that monthly average overhead and you multiply it by 12 or 18 months. To give you a really simple example, let's say your average monthly overhead is $1,000 a month. You can multiply that by 12 or 18, and you would get a total of $12,000 or $18,000. That amount is your financial foundation. And once you have that amount, either 12 months or 18 months, it will protect you over the course of your first year to year and a half of your career slash business. The reason you would even have a financial foundation is so you can focus on your career and less on having to work a survival job. You know, since it takes 365 days to succeed in any chosen field of interest. So now that we know the number to your financial foundation would either be 12,000 or 18,000, we know that is your startup capital needed. It's about procuring that amount into your bank account, specifically your safety net. Even if you own a business or are an entertainer, the purpose of a financial foundation is to allow you to focus on your career for the first full year. So here are two schools of thought on having a survival job or saving up for a financial foundation and focusing solely on your career. The first school of thought is to not really focus on your field of interest right in the beginning, but sacrifice and work one or many jobs to save up the um, total amount of your financial foundation, your startup capital. Once you have your startup capital in your safety net account, you could then quit all the jobs and now solely focus on your career or your field of interest. Because now you have a year to a year and a half of protection to focus on your job. The second school of thought is to work a survival job. I recommend that your survival job is at least within your field of interest. However, I would also like to add that if you are working a survival job, that you should be trying to save up money on the side and sacrificing your budget so you're living on a smaller budget so you have a bigger surplus and you can save that money and put it into your startup capital to create your financial foundation within your safety net. Once you have the allotted 12 to 18 months worth of average monthly overhead, then quit that job and focus solely on your career. Helpful tip, a quick tip on establishing a financial foundation. So whatever you choose, either work many, many jobs and save up tons of money and sacrifice and gather your money up quicker. Or if you choose to get the survival job, while establishing your foundation, you are also trying to establish something else of a foundation. You must network and build and cultivate relationships, design a brand to build awareness, create interest, and ultimately generate sales so people buy into your brand's message. Practice your skills and crafts and the two aforementioned necessities. Also learn to create habits in managing time, money, and people. Thinking outside the box. Mastering your talent and other talents necessary to increase your career beyond your passion. And on top of that, research, research, research your field of interest. Wanting to own a donut shop is not the same as understanding how running a business works. Allow all these things to grow and enhance while you are building your financial foundation and raising your startup capital. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share along with subscribing for future content. This is an interactive video series and I will happily respond to productive questions within the comment section below. And for those who decide to share this video, thank you very much. 
please at Thomas J. Beleza, and I will happily return the favor by sharing your content as well. Because I don't really know you exist as you kind of just stumbled on me, maybe. And I want to know you, and I want to support you, and I want to help where and when I can. So at me, and I'll become aware of your existence. And I support the supporters. And as always, don't work too hard. But be productive. Peace and harmony, my friends. Truth and action. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Do you? Do you, punk? Oh, dear.